in game two of the season. You love the test you had with these guys here in game 10. What sits well with you about how you guys responded, especially over the final five minutes? Oh, uh, that's fun. That's fun. That's a great, great team. Well coached, well balanced. They got the two headed monster in DeRose and Lowry, and uh, they keep coming at you. So uh, we had to buckle down that last five minutes, you know, being down six after uh, Terrence Ross hit that three right here by our bench, and uh, Kyrie did some big shots. Channing, obviously. Uh, was on uh, on the spot, so it was a good win for us. That pass from Kevin to you that put you guys up four, that came out of a timeout. Why are you guys so good with execution in those moments? We're just very composed. We're a composed team. We've seen everything, and uh, it's not a situation we haven't been in, so you know, Coach Lou drew up a great call, and we just tried to execute it to perfection, and we was able to do that. I gave you a hard time off camera, and I'm going to do it on camera. We needed one more rebound out of you, but one more rebound. You're shy of a triple-double in front of the triple-double man himself. What's like playing in front of him uh, first of all for him to take time out of his day and out of his schedule to come here to Cleveland and uh, you know watch me and watch this ball club play it's an honor it's someone I've looked up to my whole life not only for what he did on the floor but what he did off the floor what he stood for so uh, his accomplishment speaks for itself and you know to be able to almost uh, put up a triple double in front of the triple double king is always special I'm sorry I can give you no excuses one more question though he joined our broadcast and, and told Fred Nacy that the one thing that sticks out to him about you is your strength what about your success on a night-to-night -night basis Braun can you simply credit to that it's a byproduct of how much work I put into my body every single day. Uh, you know, when the camera's not on, I'm always in the weight room. I'm always, uh, you know, putting my body through the, through the ultimate challenges. So when I'm faced with any adversity or anything, then my body reacts the best way. So I've been fortunate. You know, people think I'm going to slow down, but I'm only getting stronger. And, uh, you know, I want to continue to do that, especially for this ball club. Brian, appreciate your time. All right. Thanks, Allie.